welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got an empties video for you and I'm pretty sure I've only ever maybe done one of these if I've ever done it. So basically what I've done is saved up all my empty products that I've kind of used over the last couple of, well I'll say yeah, couple of months, the last probably two months and I'm gonna share them with you. So I've got two products that I don't actually have empty things of that I've got through loads of that I just completely forgot to save because they're out of the shower. And that is my L'Oreal Dream Length Shampoo and Conditioner. I've been through two of those and I've got a fresh set in there now. So just throwing that out there because I get a lot of questions on what hair care I use. That is what I use. I just chucked it away last week. And then I got the stuff I was doing this video. I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot. So yeah, that is what I use on kind of my hair for like shampoo, conditioner. But here I've got kind of some makeup products, skincare, body products, and I'm gonna share them with you and let you know if I like them, if I didn't, did I repurchase, and everything like that. So I'm gonna start with the only other hair care products I've got, and that is this. This is the Kerastars Elixir Ultimate Oh, I don't actually know the name of it. Basically, it's a hair oil. And this is the best hair oil I've ever used. I got this from Look Fantastic probably about three years ago. It lasted me three years. Granted, I didn't use it every single time I washed my hair. But this was like the best hair oil ever. I now use like, it's like a L'Oreal one. But this Kerastars are like a L'Oreal brand anyway. So this is kind of like a higher end version of what I'm currently using. So yeah, I really enjoyed that. I haven't repurchased it because like I said, I do have others, but I 100% would. Next up, I got some body products. So like body butters, body cream. The first one is this. This is the Body Shop Body Yogurt in the strawberry scent. Now this, I got through this so quickly. So basically these haven't been out very long, but I got a few through early just to try out, see if I like them. And I mean, evidently I did. <laughs> I actually have a 15% off discount code for you right now. It's available online and in store. I'll pop it on the screen right now. But basically, I love the idea of these. So they are 100% vegan for those of you wondering. They're super fast absorbing. The hashtag to actually go along with them is 15 seconds too. So like the idea is it takes 15 seconds to absorb. And I did like an Insta video and I thought it was really funny because it's like, I was like, okay, how can I kind of show you like how quick this absorbs? You pop it on and then it's like, you can do your lipstick and it's like absorbed, it's done like that quick. So yeah, I think it's a really great product. Would I repurchase? Yes, I already have another one ready to go. And it's just one of them things Like I hate putting kind of body creams on and feeling like sweaty. Do you know what I mean? Like they're quite creamy, quite intense and you're just a bit like, like you feel like you can't move. I hate that so much. Basically, it just feels really, really fresh. And like you put it on and it's almost cold and it feels really nice, really fresh. It's one of the things that I found that I was reach, obviously I have like numerous body butters and body things open at once, but this is the one I'd reach for, especially as I was running out the door with a skirt on. I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't moisturized. This is what I go for. Yeah, so I'd really, really recommend this. I will link, obviously, all these products down below and I'll pop my discount code in the description box as well if you do want to try. They come in loads of different scents, but I'd say strawberry's probably my solid favourite. I do have a different one ready to go as, like, my repurchase. Oh, they're £8.50 just for reference, if you're wondering. So, yeah, no, I really like them. I'm probably going to go try some of the other scents as well. I feel like... Like, I love this, but I, I like the idea of like trying as many of the different ones as I can. I don't know, I'm really weird like that. I'll either find a product I love and just kind of have that one specific one, or I'll find something I love and then have like every single scent. I don't, I don't know. This is good though, very good. Another Body Shop product, this took me so long to get through. This is the Ethiopian Green Coffee Cream Firming Ritual, it says. So basically, it's a um, body cream, but it's like firming. Has it got caffeine in it? Is that what does it? Did I read? Uh, it says, the Ethiopian green coffee from the Kaffa region, the home of coffee is high caffeine content, renowned for its refining, firming and toning properties. Pretty much. This smell, amazing. This is something that I'd use after I'd had a bath and I wanted to feel like I'd had a really kind of nice, luxurious evening. To me, this smells like a spa. And they all, they have another one that's like, they have like a firming oil as well. And there's like a, um, what is it? I think it's one of their massage oils, you know? I think it might be the lemongrass one. Is that what it's called? There's one that smells exactly like a spa. E either way, this was really good. I really like this. Yes, I'd repurchase. It like lasted me a long, long time. However, for kind of everyday use, I'd pick this one over this one, if that makes sense. This was purely for when 
I wanted something a bit more luxurious, a bit more creamy, but for like every day, this is kind of what I'd go for. But again, I'll link this down below so you can check this out. Moving on to some face products. I'm just gonna get this out of the way because this is quite embarrassing. It's also slightly funny. <sighs> So this is my La Roche-Posay Everclar Duo Plus. I love this, as you can tell. I didn't want to miss out on any product, so I cut it open to kind of scoop everything out. That's how much I love it. Now, this is a moisturizer, and I know you're gonna look at it and be like, Emily, that's so expensive. I'm pretty sure it's like 14 pounds or 12 pounds for this. However, it lasts so long. I got my older sister hooked on this. She's not, or neither am I to be fair, we're not, we're not very fussy with skincare or makeup or things like that. I love my makeup, I love my skincare. She's not that bothered at all, yet we both love this and we both think it's worth it. I bought it for her and I was like, look, just try it out, you will love this. And then she went back and repurchased and I was like, told you. <laughs> she was like, but it's so expensive, but it lasts and it works. So basically, if I get bad skin, well no, I try to use this anyway, but if I get bad skin, this fixes it. If I get dry skin, this fixes it. If I, I don't know, anything. The only kind of time I get spots are due to like hormones, this fixes it. It's just so good and you don't need much at all. It's not that moisturizer that you're gonna put on and feel like your face feels instantly moisturized. It's not that. It's just one of, it doesn't feel heavy. It sinks under makeup. It's just so good and so nice. Would I repurchase 100%? I already have two backups. It's so worth it. And they actually do a La Roche-Posay Everclar Duo kind of, what's it called? It's like a set. So you get this, you get like, a, I think it's like a clarifying like face wash or something and then something else. It's like a system. That's the word I was looking for, a three-step system. And I bought that for a couple of people for like Christmas and things like that because we always discuss it. But then they're like, no, don't want to buy it. So I'm like, happy birthday or Merry Christmas. And they love it. I know so many people who put this down to like clearing their skin or just making it a bit more kind of even. So yeah, if you want to give this a try, I would 100% recommend this. Next up is a Bioderma product. So this is the light moisturizing uh, facial moisturizer. It's the Hydra Bio Gel Cream. Now, I liked this. I liked the Body Shop one. It was really fresh. It was more of a gel than cream. Felt quite cold on the skin instead of feeling sticky and greasy. However, I don't think I'd repurchase. I don't know why. It just, it didn't get me. I liked it and it was nice, but nothing about it was like, oh my gosh, I can't live without it. And I feel like, because I feel like that, there's better products out there. I would choose my Efficardio Plus over this any day. So I don't think I'm going to spend my money on this again, but I might try another moisturizer from Bioderma because I know it's a really, really respected brand. So yeah, it was good, just not for me. Finally, on the skincare front, this is the Bare Minerals Brilliant Future Age Defense and Renew Eye Cream. Now, this still looks like it's got a ton of product in. However, I promise it's completely empty. So, I had never tried Bare Minerals skincare when I got this. I was a bit like, I thought they did makeup. I thought they did like a makeup skincare hybrid kind of thing. I didn't know they actually did full on skincare. And I was so impressed. You know, I use this in conjunction with my Kiehl's Creamy Avocado. I like alternate. I feel like that's when you get the best out of skincare when you change it up. And I loved it. I would repurchase this, but I'm not going to because I have so many different ones and I have my Kiehl's one that I love and I've still got some left of that. But I would recommend this to everyone. I think this is really, really good, especially if you've not used eye cream before. This is not too heavy. It doesn't go sticky or greasy. It feels really, really nice. And it's a really easy product to use. I've actually got a couple of face masks, which is so weird for me because I use my face masks so rarely because I have like quite a few, I just alternate, that they never really get used up. However, I've used two. So this is the first one. This is the Tony Moly Choco Mushroom cream pore pack. Now when I got this, I was like, uh, I'm not using that, I hate mushrooms, but it doesn't smell like mushroom at all. It, it almost smells more like chocolatey. I mean, I think so. Anyway, mm, to be fair, it's got quite an earthy scent. I just, maybe I just pretended it smelled like chocolate so I used it. But this is really good for if you have kind of blackheads on your nose or like your pores are enlarged or something like that. Like I, I completely used it up, I thought it was really good. I won't be repurchasing because I feel like there's other ones out there that are more inexpensive, that are just as good. I mean, I really liked it, don't get me wrong. I would, if someone said to me, you know, would you like it for your birthday or something? I'd be like, yeah, go for it. But 
I love my Body Shop face masks and my L'Oreal ones, so I just feel like I'm happy to stick with them and they're at a much better price point for me. They're much more readily available, but this was really good. The next mask that I used up is my Glam Glow Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. This is a peel off mask. It's the silver one that everyone puts on, looks like a robot or something, and then they peel it off. This was really, really good. I don't actually know what it did. I mean, it's supposed to firm, but I'm like I'm 21, so I, I have quite firm skin anyway. But my skin did feel really fresh, really clean, really nice after using this, which is why I used it up. It was also a lot of fun, which, I mean, it's great. But this isn't something that I'd use if I felt like I had awful skin and I wanted like a, like a detox or something like that. This is what I'd use when my skin was good, but it was just a bit dry, or it was a bit kind of like dull. Like this was great for dull skin, that I really liked that for that, but I wouldn't say it had massive impact. But then again, I went out and repurchased it straight away, so it's definitely something that I would miss in my skincare routine. I don't know how to describe how I'd use it. Like I said, just if my skin looked a bit dull, and it would just fix it up straight away. So yeah, no, I really like this. I think it's great, but it's just like, I know a lot of people when it comes to face masks, they're looking for like a quick fix for like spots or a detox or something like that. This is a lot calmer. Yeah, that's probably the best way of describing it. This is a lot calmer. Like this would be fine if you had sensitive skin. It's just that nice little top up for if your skin's a bit ugh. So yeah, and like I said, I went out and repurchased this straight away. I've got a brand new one. I used it the other night and I was just like, yes. I love this, it's so good. The final two items that I have are both makeup. So the first one is this, it's the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I got through this so fast. I've never used a makeup product up this quick. I think I just loved it. I mean, as you can kind of see, I like drilled a hole in it. I think I used tweezers, I stuck them in, like twisted them round to try and get this off to get more out. Cause there's like, I think there's a tiny bit left. Yeah, there is, but I just can't get it out. Oh no, oh great, wow. It's gone all over me. Wow. There's me saying there's none left. But yeah, a really, really good product. I'm using the Cover FX one now, which I really like. I just feel like this is such a safe product. Like, you can't go wrong with it. You can't put too much on. You can't put too little on. You can't put it in the wrong place. It just works. So I haven't repurchased really this yet, but I would like to. It's definitely on my list. I would really, really recommend this if you're looking for a loose powder or you're not sure. Like I use this under my eyes, up my nose, on my forehead and on my chin as to kind of like highlight the points. I never got any flashback with it. It was never too much. Sometimes I think at the minute my cover effects one's a bit like, whoa. So yeah, I'm looking forward to having this back in my collection. And last but definitely not least is the Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray. So I have a few of these. The reason I went for the chill one first and started using that first is purely because it said chill. And like I've said throughout this video, I don't like things that make me feel all like greasy and you know, I like cooling, refreshing. And this did just that. This was fantastic at setting my makeup. I 100% noticed a difference. I will be going out and repurchasing. I haven't yet. <laughs> I have a few setting sprays. It's one of them things that like I don't need to go and buy another one, but like I really miss this. So it's really hard. I think these are so, so worth the money. This lasted me about six months of pretty much daily use. You can use this for so many different things. Prepping for your makeup, setting your makeup, dampening your beauty blender, using it to kind of wet eyeshadows and make them more intense so many different things and I think this is fantastic. I love this so much and yeah, I this is actually making me wanting to go and like order another one because I miss this so much. So those are all my empties. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, they'll all be linked down below if you wanna go have a browse of them, have a little look into them or anything. But yeah, this is a lot of fun. Time for me to start collecting again and then hopefully in a couple of months time, I'll be able to show you what else I've been using. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.